Big breaking news. Tony Khan owns Ring of Honor. So he's just started Dynamite saying, uh, coming out, he was in the ring saying that uh, 20 odd years ago, um, you know, Ring of Honor began. He was a massive fan and now he owns Ring of Honor. So uh, he has actually uh, put that um, out there and uh, told everyone that he was a big fan of it, told everyone that he, you know, was uh, a big supporter of uh, Ring of Honor and then dropped the bombshell that he has brought it. Obviously, Ring of Honor did hit some uh, hard times and uh, for him buying it is, you know, a ma massive news. Sadly, oh, I did like the bit where he says, uh, there's no Shane, there's no Shane, kind of uh, talking about when Vince bought WCW and then uh, Shane McMahon turned up. So uh, I did enjoy that bit, but there's uh, no follow-up. That is it. That is all the information. He's bought Ring of Honor. Now, that is amazing for the tape library. There's so much they can do with that. So much they can do with that. They can now put out, uh, like, well, I would say DVDs, but documentaries. Um, you know, they can get documentaries out there. Not necessarily on DVD, but they can get them onto, I'm sure, using their connections, like various different platforms. Um, and, you know, it's going to be really good to kind of tell the backstory for Brian Danielson and CM Punk and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I I'm guessing if he loves it, he's going to keep the brand going. Is that going to be the new developmental for AEW? Will Ring of Honor feed into AEW? What does that mean for Dark? What does that mean for Elevation? None of this was answered by Tony. He's just dropped the bombshell that he now owns Ring of Honor and I suppose just let people speculate now. Um, I think some people will be pleased with that news. Some people will be maybe disappointed. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. This massive, huge announcement, it's still hard to know how it's actually going to affect anything. But uh, that was the announcement. Ring of Honor uh, is now owned by Tony Khan. And it will be very, very interesting to see what does he do with it.